Welcome back to the channel. My name is Ellipsis. It's New Year's Eve. I hope you're doing really, really well. I haven't made a video since way before Christmas, so um, it's really nice to be back. Uh, France was great in the meantime, though. We had a, a great time. And uh, today we're going to open a whole stack of different sets, big sets that we opened all through 2023, you know, stuff that's got some really great cards inside. And hopefully we can pull something today, although there's only going to be sort of one, two, or maybe three of each particular set. So there will also be details of the giveaway. Uh, I've been meaning to give you some details on that for some time. So today is the day. And uh, yeah, let's get ripping into these packs and see what we can find. So first and foremost, I want to say a really big thank you to uh, all of you, really. Uh, you've been amazing as a community. You've uh, joined me this year since I started the channel. 2023 has been great. And um, it's been real fun uploading videos, opening packs, responding to all you people. You're, you're amazing. Um, and I'm really, really chuffed with how the, the channel has progressed up to what is the very end of 2023, the last day. Uh, I don't know if some of you have already hit New Year yet. If you have, Happy New Year. Um, but yeah, just wanted to take a moment to, to really sort of pay some appreciation because I, I really do appreciate how much this channel has kind of grown. Particularly while I was in France, uh, we managed to hit uh, the ability to add members to the channel. We've, uh, we've got our 500 subscribers. Uh, each and every one of you are a legend and we also hit our 3000 hours so we managed to turn on memberships for the channel you'll see a join button on the, under the videos uh, there are multiple levels of membership uh, I won't plug it too much because I'm not that type of guy but if you do want to become a member on the channel it would be hugely appreciated and um, there's perks for depending on which level of membership you want to take so feel free to uh to jump into the members section if that's something you're willing to do uh if not just i'm happy to have you here uh all of you people that watch the videos and just interact uh you're all yeah, everyone's equal to me um but the membership's there if you would like to um so this etb was one that i set aside a long time ago uh it is the giveaway for reaching 500 subscribers. Doesn't have to be the CTB. I, I will sort of confirm. Uh, it's a bit of dust on the top there. Um, it's been around for for a while. Good thing it's in a protector. Um, essentially, uh, I'm going to do a giveaway for an ETB. It doesn't have to be this one. It could be any uh, of the Scarlet and Violet era sets, uh, including 151. Uh, so. In order to enter the giveaway, what's your favourite Pokemon set of all time? Uh, anything from Wizards of the Coast era, all the way through Diamond and Pearl, Black and White. Any any particular set, but I just yeah. Let me know which set you you really like the most. A lot of us obviously got into the hobby quite late, so really Sword and Shield and Scarlet and Violet now are the ones that we know the most. But I did start off. Uh, when I first started my Pokemon journey, I did start off watching a lot of channels where they opened vintage and they opened a lot of black and white. And there were a lot of sets I watched a lot being opened. And obviously there's uh, differences between all of the different sets that have been produced over the years. Uh, I think my, you know, base set is obviously it's a classic, but I think um, Expedition, some of those type uh, era packs some of those have some really unique cards in and if they weren't so expensive to open i certainly would open some but uh, but yeah let me know in the comments what your favorite set ever throughout pokemon was is and um let's say january 20th we'll um we'll pick a winner i know it's going to keep you waiting for a, a little while a few weeks um i want to give everyone a chance to get in if they can and um yeah, we'll make it a real, real decent giveaway. So you've got three weeks to enter. And uh, yeah, just let me know in the comments. And then we'll give this away to, to one lucky winner. We also, if you hadn't already seen, we have a Charizard UPC. 
and this will be given away at 1,000 subscribers. So uh, if you aren't already, subscribe to the channel and you could be in with a chance of winning a uh, Charizard UPC. We've opened a couple of these. Uh, if you've seen my previous videos, they are... They're a mixed bag, I'll be honest. The, the last one we opened was stacked. Tons and tons of hits. Um, this one has been waiting around for some time. I don't know if it's one of the original runs where they had an extra pack. But um, yeah, this will be given away at 1,000 subscribers. So if you want to be in with a mix, you know what to do. So very, very quickly, I wanted to just go over basically Pokemon stuff that I got for Christmas. Um, my mum and my sister got me a Funko each. Uh, I did get memed by Mime. So I do have a Mr. Mime now to add to my shelf behind me. And I did get a Mew too. Tink actually got me the Mew for our anniversary uh, a couple of months ago. So I have a Mew too to go with it now, which is very cool. Very happy to have those to add to my shelf. Uh, and while we were in France, we had one of our, our friends, uh, the one that's got a little lad that I traded some cards with the last time I went to France. They got me a nice little mug set, which is really cool. It's got a Pokeball mug. It's got a, an actual glass. I thought it was ceramic, but it's actually glass. And a couple of coasters in like a little gift box. That's really cool. I was really happy with that. So uh, don't be surprised if you see me drinking my coffee from uh, a nice Pokemon themed mug. Uh, and then this, this is a quirky little object. We actually found this in a bakery in France. Um, I'll, it's a bit of an explanation to this. So uh, during January, there's a uh, religious holiday called Epiphany. And in France, they tend to celebrate it by eating a particular cake called a galette de roi, uh, which means the king's galette. Galette is the type of cake. Um, and what you do is you bake the cake and you put one of these little ceramic figures inside the cake and whoever gets that slice gets to keep the, the little ceramic figure. And typically they're like uh, religious sort of icons, obviously like Jesus or, or you know, whatever. Um, but we found one that had all Pokemon related uh, ceramics in. So I actually, originally I wasn't going to buy it and then I ended up, um, Tink bought it for me. So thanks to Tink for buying this little treasure. Uh, obviously it's going to stay in the box. I'm not going to take them all out. They are going to go on my shelf uh, as a bit of a display piece. But quirky little objects. Interesting to see how Pokemon Company understand different markets and uh, ways that they can inject Pokemon products into uh, even religious celebrations. So yeah, so have got some nice little ceramic figures. Very cool. I especially like the way there's the, um, the Ditto. That's very cool. Anyway. That was what I got from France. I don't want to waffle on too much. We have packs to open. And uh, let's get started with that now. So first up, I haven't opened one of these before. Uh, it's a Dragonite V-Box. We've got a promo card in there, which I undoubtedly do need. There's obviously a Jumbo as well. Not so fussed about the Jumbo, but it will go into my Jumbo binder. And there's four packs inside. Uh, there is a Rebel Clash, so the Rebel is going to go to my lad. But there is... Sneaking behind the back there, an Evo Skies. So, Evo will wait until the end. So we've only got a couple of packs to open from this particular box. But uh, fun all the same. Mainly, to be honest, if it's a new product that I haven't opened before, the promo is the most important part. So very happy to have a promo card to add to the collection. So yeah, we get a... Dragonite V, uh, Sword and Shield 154, very nice. And you probably saw it already, but there's the code. Let's sleeve up Dragonite quickly. Okay, and then we get our oversized Dragonite. And we get our four packs. Rebel Clash goes to one side. My lad has a stack of Rebel Clash. I managed to find a load of fairly cheap tins uh, just before I went away. So we got 18 tins. Each one of those had um, 
a Rebel Clash, a Battle Styles, a Vivid Voltage, and a Darkness Ablaze. So I have 18 packs of each to open, uh, but the 18 packs of Rebel went to my son, so he's going to be busy in the next day or two opening a lot of Rebel Clash, hopefully to finish off his binder. But for the, the remainder of this box, we get a Chilling Rain, a Vivid, and an Evo Sky. So Evo is going to go there, and he's going to stay there right until the end, because that's going to be the last pack we open. Let's start off with a Vivid Voltage first and see whether just like, you know, one or two packs of each set can bring us any particular luck. Good code card. So we're starting off well. We have, oh, it feels good to be back opening packs. I, I, I wanted to open packs so badly, but there's no point in France. Because, you know, I don't collect French Pokemon. We have a Loudred, a Zeb Striker, Coating Energy, Joltic, Cottony, Mudbray, Slugma, Wisma. We have a Swallow in reverse. And we don't get anything too big. We get a Zapdos in hollow. That's cool, though. Definitely cool. Um, I'm going to need to refresh my memory on my binder situation obviously uh, we did go through a lot of the binders in uh, I think it was the end of November or maybe early December but uh, yeah I can't remember exactly what we need for each one so especially these earlier sword and shield sets but second pack we have a chilling rain we get a brawly haunter celio Slowpoke, Coughing, Bound Sweet, Snow Runt, Galarian Yamask, Weedle in Reverse. We do get what looks like a V Star. Galarian Slow, oh, it's a V Max. Galarian Sloking V Max. Not bad. Not bad. Obviously, I mean, typically one pull per box. So would that be our only pull? Or can we still have a bit of hope that the Evo Skies pack has something in it? We've got two good code cards there. That would typically be what I would expect from a box, but on to the next product. So next up is a couple of single blisters of Chilling Rain that I, uh, I actually received while I was away. My housemates uh, took the delivery, so haven't actually opened these before, I don't think. So the promo cards are definitely going to be required. It's a really cool Morpeko promo. It's got a bit of a swirl in the bottom corner, which is cool. So first one, we get our Black Star promo. There's a code card. There is a coin in here as well. See what we got there. Genesect. Nice little Genesect coin. And we get Chilling Rain. Let's see what we have. Code cards up the wrong way, but it's not a good code card, so we will whiz through this one. Okay, we get Grass Energy, Dynatree Hill, Scroll of the Skies, Agatha, Clobopus. Heracross, Mareep, La Vesta, Delibird, Shviel in reverse, and a Kecleon non hollow. And for the next one, we get a Fan P, Black Star promo. Again, one I don't have. So today is going to be, as much as I'm hoping for pools, uh, we're, doing, we're going to do really well. That's the same Genesect coin. We're going to do really well with Black Star Primo. So, there we go. There's a nice Fampy. And we do have a good code card on this one. So, let's see what this pack has in store. If we start getting some decent pulls, I'll move the, the Black Star Primos out of the way. So, yeah. They're not front and centre when uh, 
We said we had a good code card. It was the code card from the actual, yeah, blister. Not a good code card. I had my hopes up for a second then. But uh, it, it pains me to be away for a while because my brain starts losing track. Anyway, Thwacky, Whirlypede, Mareep, La Vesta, Delibird, Deerling, Aaron, Reverse Kecleon, got one of each, and an Agron non hollow. So uh, I actually don't remember if I've got. I do have one Kecleon, don't remember if I have both, and I can't remember which one it is I've got, so whichever. On to the next product. So next up, channel favourites, not the biggest favourite, I think Shining Fates would be my favourite, but um, a big portion of this channel this year has been Pokemon Go. Um, still looking for some cards for my binder. I've also got the second binder running, which is going to be a giveaway in the future. So... Uh, any cards that we can add to either binder really is a bonus. So, as always, we get our trusty Pikachu coin. I've got a ton of those. Uh, we get our Snorlax art card. And we get our two packs of Pokemon Go. And I also forgot, we also get our uh, Scannable codes so take those never played pokemon go so uh, you're welcome to those codes and we'll start off with these two packs and then we'll open the pikachu tin as well let's see if pokemon go wants to give us something nice for the end of the year we start off with a v-star marker we have a Lunatone, Ivysaur, War Turtle, Charmander, Eevee, Natu, Ambipom, Alolan Raticate, Chansey in reverse, and a Snorlax Hollow. So nothing too big from that pack. Uh, I think I pretty sure I have the entire uh, main set in regular and reverse. Um, I can't remember what's still needed. I'm sure there's one or two reverses still needed for the secondary binder. So hopefully <clears throat> we'll be able to pull one or two cards that we need for that binder, if not for my own. We get a Charmeleon, Meltan, Eevee, Pikachu, Spinarak, Wimpod, Steelix in reverse, and a Pikachu Hollow. Okay, on to the second tin. Nice Pikachu. Overload on Pikachu for this tin. Art card as well. some codes there you go and see if this second tin wants to give us anything Pokemon goes I know it's mainly because I'm so close to a complete set we just pull doubles constantly but uh, it is a fun set to still open even after so many openings and packs Get a Lore Module, Apon, Bulbasaur, Pidove, Magikarp, Onyx. We get a Natu in reverse and a Galissapod Hollow. Could be a strikeout with Pokemon Go, but it is what it is. We've had a ton of fun with this set over the last 10 months or so. Okay, last chance for Pokemon Go. Satu, Blanche, Sorok, Pidove, Magikarp, Meltan, Pikachu, Eevee, P 
Pupitar in reverse. But we do pull a Hollow Charizard, and I will not say no to a Hollow Charizard. Hollow Charizards always get sleeved. They are going to be one of the ones that really retain some value going forward. So it's always best to treat your Charizard cards with as much respect as possible, even if they are just a regular type of hollow. Next packs, let's go with some Crown Zenith. Crown Zenith, I am really, really looking forward to opening some more this year. Uh, I did say I'm going to scale back from um, Sword and Shield sets, but mainly from the first uh, first half and I haven't done very much with Crown Zenith so far. So Crown is going to be one of the sets that I continue to open into 2024 and hopefully get somewhere near completing the binder. So I haven't opened these triple blisters before, so we get a pin to go in my collection, which I haven't had yet. We also get a Cinderace promo card which is cool. My Sword and Shield binder is going to be very happy after this opening. So a nice additional Black Star promo. Get rid of that. Uh, don't remember seeing a... Was there a card? Oh, it's there. I had a feeling I must have missed the code card. but Okay, so three packs of Crown Zenith to uh, end the year off would be great if we could pull a gold but I'm not expecting it anything that we can add to the binder though would be a bonus so there's your code let's see if uh, Crown Zenith wants to grace us with some pulls friends in Hisui Carv Carnivine Corfish Energy Search Scyther Riolu Young Goose a reverse grubbin and a lichen rock non hollow. Again, I mean, even if we don't necessarily get big pulls, the binder is only, I want to say, about 40 to maybe 50% complete in the main set. So there are still a lot of reverses and a lot of regular cards that we actually still need. So Anything could be useful from these packs. We have a Darkness, Carnivine, Rescue Carrier, Laron, Love Disc, Emolga, Yanma, Pawniard. We get a Cricketot. Get a Reverse Tapu Lele, which I don't remember seeing before. And a Blossom, non hollow. And for our third pack of Crown Zenith, I actually still have uh, another four of these triple blisters. And I did manage to pick up a Morpeko, um, the box with the playmat inside and five packs. So we will be in January opening up some more packs guaranteed. I'm still on the lookout for any other cut, any other packs that we can find, in, uh, you know, reasonably decent uh, sort of cost per item crown is one of those sets where the uh, the cost per individual pack seems to be going up fairly fast but you know i thought i'd mess the pack up then we get a reverse hollow lightning energy with a pretty bad print line running through it but um still happy with that i think that's our second or maybe third I oh, know, because we got a uh, textured um, energy as well. So I think it might be our second reverse. And we do have a pull behind it. Hatterene V. Happy with that. We got a double banger pack. Very nice. So, two pulls from that pack. I think. Um, just in general, Crown Zenith Binder is going to be um, enjoying being populated after this. I think I'm pretty sure there's probably a, 
you know, half a dozen cards that we can definitely put into the binder from that. Next product, let's go with a Paldean Legends tin. Uh, this is another product that, um, actually, no, I managed to find this uh, out just after we got back from France. Went to the shops, had to stock up the cupboards with a bit of food, and uh, this was in our local supermarket, so I nabbed it. Nothing that we don't already have, though. I have the, the Coriden Black Star promo, but it is a really nice card, and there's a code card for you. a sleeve and we get what's really been the the major part of 2023 really for most people is the scarlet and violet era so we get one base we get two powder evolved and we also get a cheeky little silver tempest pack to open i'm going to start off with a silver tempest i think i always feel like Maybe there's a bit of luck with that one Sword and Shield set that they put into these tins. Obviously not with this pack though. Or we could have a trainer gallery. So let's see. We have a Water Energy, Duosion, Whale Lord, Nine Tails, Phoebus, Chimeco, Fennekin, Spinarak, Gay Beldum. We get a reverse fungus, which actually might be useful. And we get a Victini non hollow. Okay, so there's our one uh, sword and shield pack out of the way. On to Skull and Violet base. Still need Miriam, Full Art, Katie, uh, as well as maybe another five or six other cards. But let's hope for something. Maybe we can get one pull from this tin, would be good. We have a Water Energy, Sand Isle, Houndoom, Fido, Scatterbug, Mabastiff, Miriam, Spiritomb. We get a Reverse Slowpoke. And a Reverse Starly. And Professor's Research Toro, so... That'll be a no for, sword, for Scarlet and Violet base. Let's go with our Paldea. Uh, special Illustration Rare Iono would be really cool. But uh, there's still so much for Paldea that I still need. So hoping for at least one card that we can add to the binder. Paldea and Whooper. Pikachu. Qfant. Rogunk, Tauros, Practice Studio, Florigato, we get a Reverse Oranguru, and a Reverse Bravery Charm, and a Hollow Garganackle. Second Powder Evolved. These tins, I've seen a lot of them that are complete duds. So we may end up not pulling anything from this tin, but it will be what it will be. We get a Grass Energy, Pikachu, Slackoth, Wattrel, Foycoco, Flamigo, Bombardier, Skiploom, First Reverse is Glamora. Very nice. Okay, we have a illustration rare of Bramblin. Kudos to Famrix Pokemon for making the Bramblin man joke. Uh, we have a Bramblin illustration rare. That's really cool. And we get a hollow earthworm before it, after it. Sorry. So yeah, nice. I love the way the the one in the center stands out, behind, you know, above the hollow. That's really cool. Nice, and it's definitely one we needed. So we have an illustration rare to add to Powder Evolved. Happy with that. Okay, next up. And they are the final products before we open the Evolving Skies pack. We've got 
four packs, two mini tins of 151. Uh, I actually bought a mini tin display case that arrived while I was in France and uh, been looking forward to opening more 151. Still not 100% sure whether the mini tins are the way to go. They seem to be very short on illustration res. That's all I'll say. Uh, other products seem to have more illustration res to give than, uh, than the mini tins do. But I will take an SIR or a gold. We're still missing uh, a couple of golds and I think one, no, two special illustration res. Giovanni and Charizard. So let's see if either of these packs from this tin can deliver. Okay. No hollow energy. We get a darkness, horsey, Nidoran, Abra, Diglitz, Clefable, Tentacruel. Hitmonlee, we get a Muck in reverse, Antique Old Amber in reverse, and an Alakazam EX. We'll sleeve the EX up. I can't remember if I have both the Alakazam that I need for my binder, but fairly sure I do. I'll have to double check. Okay, second pack of 151. I would imagine the uh, Alakazam might be my only pull from this tin. Even though it's just an EX, it tend to be like one good pull from a mini tin, from the two packs. But we'll see. We have a Cubone, Vulpix, Magnemite, Snorlax, Sandslash, Haunter, Reverse Tentacle, Reverse Execute, and a hollow Mr. Mime, so yeah. Just the uh, regular set EX from that mini tin, but that's okay. I do have eight more tins to be able to open in a future video. Let's finish off this last mini tin before we move on to throwing tins on the floor. Whatever. Anyway, two packs of 151 remaining. Energy code. Hollow energy this time? We do. We get a steel energy, which is very nice. Don't think, uh, oh no, I mean, there is a swirl right at the top, just a half a swirl. I think that might be, yeah, that's it. We get a Hollow Metal Energy, so that will be sleeved up. Magikarp, Oddish, Mankey, Meowth, Hitmonchan, Seeking, Butterfree, Nidorino in reverse, Machoke in reverse, and we get another EX. I think it's the Mew. It is the Mew. Very, very nice EX to get. I already have two for my binder, so that one will be uh, stored away. Possibly uh, put up on eBay, we'll see. They do hold some uh, pretty good value, actually, the, the Mew EX. And we'll sleeve the Metal Energy. Okay, let's see what this last pack of 151 for today has. Code. Okay. I, th mm, I don't know. It's hard to tell because the hollows really do make the edges at the back look like there's something big, but it does look nice. We have a lightning energy, Ponyta, Pikachu, Farfetched, Old Amber, Leftovers, Persian, Muck. We have a reverse Eevee and a reverse Polyrath. 
it wasn't. It was just a regular hollow from the set. But we do have a hollow Gengar, which is a fabulous artwork. Really nice. Okay, so a couple of EXs from uh, those mini tins, but one was the Mew EX, which is really cool. And I'm always happy to get the hollow energies as well. Anyway, last pack for today, and I had to leave the Evolving Skies till the end. It's just one of those sets that it deserves respect. And if, it, if I could have opened these when they first came out, I would have opened a ton of Evolving Skies. But we have a good code card, which I was not expecting. That is a really good start. Can we see anything better than a regular V? That would be uh, that would be cool. Don't know. I don't know. There is. I think there's something. We have a darkness, Scrafty, Snowleaf badge, Hippodon, Drowsy, Scraggy. I do see something quite shiny on the edge. We have a Bagon. Bag on. Woobat. Timpole. Ursaring in reverse. No, I think it's just a V. The bottom edge, uh, there's something about the way the bottom edge was shining. It looked uh, glittery, but I think it's just a V. But it's a Sylveon V. Very happy with uh, any of the evolutions, really. I will take that. Sylveon V. I don't even know if, I'd have to check if I have that, but we end it on a Sylveon V from Evolving Skies. Always nice to see an Evolving Skies pull. <clears throat> and there you have it. So, some nice pulls from 151. A semi-nice pull from Evolving Skies. A load of Black Star promos that need to go into the binder. An illustration rare from Paldea which is, you know, don't see very often. I <laughs> think it seems to be one of those sets. That it's uh, There's a huge set, but it's a bit of a struggle pulling. A couple of nice pulls from Crown Zenith, definitely. And uh, yeah, something actually, I think we need to add that to Chilling Rain as well. So all in all, pretty happy with that opening. Um, again, uh, I'll close off by just saying I hugely appreciate everything that you guys do for the channel, guys and girls. Folks, I'm going to call you folks because I don't want to get anyone in trouble, especially myself. Um, but everything you do for the channel really helps make the channel what it is. Um, I'm so thrilled to be able to get to the point where we can add the memberships. Uh, we're actually not far from um, monetization. Still need about an, another 850 hours, which sounds a lot, but it actually comes around fairly quick. But we also do need more than 400 subs, so that will take a bit longer to come along. Uh, so if you're not already subscribed to the channel, you enjoyed what you just saw, if you've seen any, any of my other videos and uh, think I'm, I'm deserving, do hit that subscribe button, please. Um, there are the, the membership tiers, so have a look through. If you're able and willing to become a member, please do. Um, there are some of the tiers where I'll, I'll open packs or I'll open products specifically for you. Uh, so make sure you have a look through and see whichever one suits you best. Um, but by all means, just watch the videos and uh, enjoy them. That's the main reason why I make them. So all good. Um, make sure you enter your uh, your favourite set of Pokemon on the comments for the giveaway. And in a few weeks' time, we'll do a draw to see who's won that. And uh, yeah, keep an eye out for, for future openings, giveaways. We're going to be uh, we're going to be improving the channel. I'm going to set up my Discord and my social media so you can stay in touch that way too. And uh, yeah, until the next year, which is tomorrow, um, have a really nice rest of your day. Enjoy New Year's Eve, whatever you're doing, whether you're going out and celebrating it. Um, we probably we won't be. We'll be staying in and having some nice food, and uh, yeah, chilling. And wait until the, the big bongs of Big Ben signaling 2024. 2024 is going to be an amazing year. Uh, I can't wait to see what it has in store for the channel. So uh, join me. See how we do. Until next year. Take care of yourselves. 
and I'll see you soon.